evening, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Legends Arceus. I think today might be the last session, if we can clear everything that we want to clear. We're just one Pokemon away from being able to go for Arceus. I'm doing some, doing some entry filling in. Although not, not that I really need it, but I filled in a couple more entries first. Just to prepare us. And uh, yeah, we will be finishing the decks today and uh, we'll be tackling Arceus. And uh, I guess also we'll see if there's any... Uh, we'll also see if there's any uh, post-game stuff that we want to check out. But uh, yeah, hang on. We gotta decide what we want to do first. We've got two remaining... Uh, the two remaining small side quests that haven't opened up yet, so I guess we'll do this one. And the other one is uh, we gotta go see uh, Kujita again. <laughs> Look at the big boys. You have the survey core, right? The chime just decided to nest in my house. Do you think you help me to get it to move? made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease with having a Pokemon so close. I've already spoken to some homeowners who'd be willing to let Chimecho move in with them. What I like to do is have a good look at the homes and make sure to be a good fit for Chimecho. It's not like I can tell what Chimecho feels, so... The first place I'd like you to check is a farmer's house near the fields. Think you can find a new, a nice place for Chimecho to hang there? We can do that. I guess it could be noisy, right? Having a having a Pokemon just hanging around your house all day, <laughs> especially with a vocal one. Hmm. Doesn't like that, please. The wind direction seems to be bothering Chime Chime. Oh, we're just gonna be running back and forth for a bit, huh? I guess they're just not comfortable with it, right? I mean, like I said, it is docile enough, it just wants to hang out somewhere. <laughs> and it came back here. Oh, so reverse the way the wind blows around my house? I like it too, we get a good breeze. It's, it's so happy. But well then, how about a hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. In before, it just doesn't like any of the places and it just wants to hang out on that house. That's probably what's gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> it's a long way out there. I probably could have quick traveled, but, you know... I'm just gonna walk. Taking some of the fresh air, look at the sights, all that stuff. not gonna like the beach shot either, is it? Yeah. Chime Cho seems lonely since there's nobody around. Hm. Ah, just like me. It's just like me for real, for real. Hashtag relatable time tree. Next to the big boy. Came 
right back here. <laughs> So it's like lively places. It's always great to have some activity around. How about the training grounds? With the security call around, that place is always busting. And before, it's too noisy. And then it just keeps flying back here. I think you're just gonna have to accept and put up with your new Pokemon neighbor, my friend. Oh, it actually likes this place. What do you know? Is that your chime show? Why didn't you come and train with us? Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it seems like chime show doesn't like the battle. Yeah. I mean, doesn't have the battle to hang out there, right? Maybe he just feels pressured. I guess it's only natural that some Pokemon don't like the battle. I'm sorry to scare you, Chime Show. <laughs> yeah, it's so happy hanging out here. Oh, is it telling me not to worry about it? How about next door to me then? It's hardly different at all from my place. I just had a chat with my neighbors and he said to be fine a Chime Show hanging around. Let's see here. Not happy still. Uh, pardon me. I know I just sent you chasing about looking for a good home for Chime Cho, but I think I'd like to stay. I liked it to stay with me after all. You really helped me understand Chime Cho a lot better, and I think we can actually live together now. It just dawned on me that hearing its adorable cry coming from under the eaves is part of my routine now. <laughs> You're gonna live with me from now on, aren't you, Chime Cho? Thank you for all your help. I'm glad this village has a survey call. Yeah, that pretty much ended the way I thought it was going. The way I thought it was gonna. <laughs> it seems sad too, right? It's like, hey, I like you, old lady. And he just hangs out there now. Well, that's that. Alright, let's gear up for uh, the last bit, I guess. Guys are good. We keep Rotom in the party. The rest of them, we're gonna need some heavy hitters, I assume. Eventually. We'll bring the usual heavy hitters. Is how to do it. All right, let's go see Kojita. Uh, was she hanging out again? There. Ancient Retreat. Alright, I got the data on the genies. Ah, oh, you've arrived. You know, you now know much about Landorus, Tornadoes, and even Thunderous. Well done. 
In more normal times, I would bid you let those three five fly free as is their nature. But we are yet fresh from the tearing of the space-time rift. Until its after effects fade entirely, perhaps it's better to keep our trial contained. And now it is time to tell you the rest. You can't mean. There is one more of their cohort. Come. One more that has never shown up in any modern game. This weirdo. This is Enamorous, a Pokemon hailed as the Herald of Spring. Enamorous is not particularly given to ill behavior, but I imagine you'd like to document her for your Pokedex, wouldn't you? Catch her then if you like, she always flits about in the Crimson Marlins. We have to actually challenge it though, huh? You can't just get her data from her showing up here. Alright, Crimson Marlins is next on our list. That's the last one that we have a missing entry on. Just have to track her down, figure out where she likes to hang around. And then I guess it's the usual, you know, throw mud balls at her. looking around for her, where would I go? I guess we'll go ahead and pick up the package first. Okay. Which direction is it? Oh. Actually, yeah. would she be in the ruins? I'm pretty sure of the different Pokemon. along the way then we'll just make a note of it. I haven't seen it then, I take it. Alright, enamorous. It's not hanging out around the lake. Let me take a look. Home of Trowels, maybe? That feels like a place of... That feels like a place that they put an encounter on. Potentially. We just scan the area a bit. Let's see if we find her. Hang on, chat. I think I need to increase my gain again. I don't know why my mic varies so much. There, that should be better. Now I need to. Now I need to yell to make myself hurt. I've been pretty soft the last couple of days, haven't I? Hmm. 
That is just a big guy. Alright, are you here perhaps? Not seeing it. It's just the usual alphas in this area. But that is a lot of alphas hanging around. I'm kind of tempted to go like KO all of them. To be honest. Jiratina isn't as big as I thought it was. Much more obscure. I've got my experience to at least, I guess. Overheat's range is huge. Well, we got a bunch of resources, but no sign of enamorous yet. Keep scanning the landscape for a while, I guess. 
and enjoy the music. That's the entrance. It's not immediately around here. Are you up here? Anywhere else it could be. Well, oh, hang on, big boy. I'm pretty sure I have a big big boy already, but. It's hard to go for another one, I guess. Having an extra big boy is nice like, as well. Maybe we can bring it over or something. wandering around may not actually be able to get what we're looking for. So I guess in the interest of time we'll just check. We don't need specific weather. It's somewhere around here. That's all we need. Okay. Checking. Okay, we should be good. Guess we'll go look around and see if we can find it.
see there for a second? I can't tell from the draw distance. I might have to go down to the ground. This should be sufficient draw distance. Is it only during the daytime? Oh, there it is. Might have to do the usual thing again. Come on, attack me. Not like that, though. Wait, I can't row in the water. Oh, that's oh, that's nasty. This is nasty, yo. Oh, we have to like not get hit and everything. Ugh. All right, I will wait this out. Wait at a distance. Ah. Yeah, man, how am I gonna get close enough to do this? This is annoying. Like that, I guess. And she's already gone. Alright, how am I supposed to do this? Like dodge forward through or something. I'll go in a circle. I reset it. from up here too. I'm not sure this is gonna work any better though. Hmm. You got any tips chat? This is very infuriating. I wish I had some easy way to access slow mo. It doesn't give much of an opening even after she stops, unfortunately. So you have to wait for the tornadoes to spawn and then go around them, right? Ah, god. But her window is. Her window is way smaller than the others. Let me cool off a bit. It doesn't help that she's in the middle of the mud where we can't roll very well. Oh wait, am I still... I'm still being locked on. She spawns it right in the path of where they are too though. Definitely the hardest. It's 
sneak up in the middle of the bog where everybody's trying to... She can see us from all the way over there though. Alright, alright. You know what? Let's clean up the area a bit first. There's too many interlopers in the area. Definitely the most annoying of the lot. <laughs> Alright, who's still looking at me? Do I have to smoke bomb my way up then? I can crouch here. Now I can crouch. And like the fact that you can't call can't call them unless you're actually out of the out of the mud. At least until the confusion wears off. It's really annoying. Can I just throw throw the ball at her yet? Not that it. Way too far. Do, do not spawn this right in my path. Ah, man, the window's so small! God damn it. So this gets me killed. I really don't know how the hell you're supposed to do this normally, unless you use, unless you use the smoke bomb method. And even then, it can see you from like a mile away, this guy. Like a dozen other Pokemon are looking at me. I can't roll in here. This really is the worst place to be taking a fight in. Could you stop? I really gotta clear out the small fry first, huh? Just so we don't get backstabbed randomly. Now it's on me. I have to use them from them super far off. Is the barrier still up? Comes down. Oh, stop moving. Excuse me. 
Didn't I break the barrier? Good lord. Why is it so frustrating? Oh, you're very tight. I see. Whatever, I'm just gonna throw some damage on the board. Figure it out later. As long as you don't have a recovery recovery move. Okay, I see you're very painful, I get it. I come strong style the false false swiper I find. Alright, you better cooperate and get in here. Sooner rather than later. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, ma'am. You are very frustrating. Alright. That's it. That's what I like to see. Nice and cooperate. We're done here. I assume we go back to Kujita now. Or do we need to burn her entry as well? Though in a way you can almost call this an Akari Dex. Ha. Of course you hate your directive, didn't you? I recall the message you received when you first fell down to this land. Seek out all Pokemon, was it not? It seemed to finally achieve that goal. So, where, where must you go now? Mount Coronet, the Temple of Sinnoh. You'll find nowhere else in all of his way closer to the heavens. You are practically among the stars up there as if one of the very universe, all creation. What will happen there, I wonder? My scientific curiosity is positively roiling, but... But this isn't my tale adventure, it's yours. This is for you and you alone to go and find out. We each have our separate duties. He also is to go to the Temple of Sinnoh and mine is to give this Pokédex a jolly good thorough read through. Alright. Yeah, that's that. Okay, for Kojita, she wants the completed entry. So we'll have to get back to her on that. We can definitely fill it in while we do the other stuff, while we do some post game stuff, right? But for now, I think this is time. It's time, right, chat? Is it time for Arceus? Finally, gonna actually go into this fight. I'm assuming we should probably bring some powerful Pokemon with us, right? I guess we should bring all the kids. That will probably make sense, right? It's only right for this dramatic confrontation. We need to, we need to have all the kids present. <sighs> right, do we put them all in 
put them all in their uh, origin form. Alright. It's gonna be a heck of a family reunion, I tell you what. Oh, I should have gone straight to the summit camp. But alright, family reunion time. Okay. Tracking all the way up. Off we go. We are finally here. This is truly the legend Arceus. I guess. Lady is draw flute. This is the event they never implemented in the origin. It never well they implemented it, but it never they never actually let it happen officially, right? The pathway to the Hall of Origin. Oh, I don't physically walk up it. All right. Hey, yo, we're at final destination. Can't wait for no items, fox only. Is the Hall of Origin actually just Final Destination? <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's actually a cool mod idea though, right? Hey, yeah, hang on. Isn't this the... This is the, this is the thing that look... That's the flaw design from the Sinjo Ruins, right? And this really is just Final Destination though. Wah! Arceus jump scare! The goat! The llama. What did everybody agree it was again? Llama, right? God llama. The alpaca. Alpaca, alright. God alpaca. Oh, God is angry. Timpani? Timpani. Serious problem. Timpani. Oh, okay. Stay down for a bit. I'll play more stuff. Yeah. Alright. 
Oh. Homing lasers. Why, Alcius, why are you bullying a human child like this? Ow. I'm pretty sure the lasers are supposed to be judgment. Oops. I'm pretty sure the lasers are supposed to be like the the judge the, the the actual Pokemon move called Judgment. Why are you using it on a poor human child? Arceus, why are you angry at your creation? What has she done to deserve this? She she did everything you ask and now you attack her? Hmm. Ah, jump music jump scare. Getting greedy, getting greedy with the bombs. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Just play it safe, I guess. Don't try and do it quickly. Oh, that thing lingers. Yeah, I have a pretty good pattern going on. I have a pretty good pattern going on, I'm just being impatient. I could just do it one bomb at a time, but that's so slow. I I just want to do it quick. It's annoying. It's a problem. All right, all right. We'll just play it slow. It is just phase one too, so starting at homing lasers. Can I really only get one bomb in between there? That's, that's annoying. It's so slow. I don't like it. Ah. And lasers is just, you can't throw any bombs in between. It's annoying because it feels like you can throw two before you have to dodge again, but... I guess if you're playing it safe, you can only do one. You have to be patient. I don't want to be patient. It's so frustrating. The opening feels like you have more time to do more, but you don't. Eh. I still got caught. Even then, it wasn't fast enough. Ugh. All
Whoa! Okay. I'll see his jump scare. Wow, that was way too fast. Okay, okay, I get the pattern. I get the pattern. Wait, what's the difference between restart battle and continue battle? This pattern's not that tricky, I guess, it's just... Better of being patient, I guess. Still walking. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh god damn it. That was already a bad start, I think we'll just restart it. We could play it extra extra safe and just don't throw bombs on him, but like in between the waves, but that's really slow, man. If we had to do everything in one setting, I might have to do it, but uh Wait, there were meant to be those meant to be a back row. Excuse me? God damn it. It would help if, like, I. It would help if, like, the hit detection for the direct. for the roll direction wasn't, wasn't so jank. Because I'm trying to roll it at. I'm trying to, like, roll at an oblique angle so that I, like, loop it properly. But I keep accidentally getting, like, a random forward roll. Which puts me right in front of him, which is. It just messes everything up. Do I really have to play super super slow because uh Fine, we'll do it. It's gonna be super boring and slow, but we fine, we'll do it.
he doing? Oh, okay. I guess we're actually battling it now. This may not have been the best matchup. Then again, it's normal for you. Yeah, we'll just go for stab. Hey, Jiratina actually got his chance for revenge now, though, I guess. We'll give all the kids a chance. Hi, Dad. Play it safe, play it safe. Actually, a little close to dying here, so we have to be careful. Also, he's glowing blue now. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Oh, it's using the legend. Oh, it's using judgment now. Music is going in though. Alright. Unfortunately, that did make Arceus weak to Spatial Ren now, so. Oh, how does he still have 1 HP though? We 
bring in now? I guess Udra. Let's do Dragon means I'll take neutral against Dragon, right? So we just hit with this. No! Damn it. I didn't realize it would break out of it that quickly. Ugh. That's annoying. I wish it was a little bit more of a tail, right? It shook it off super quickly. Yeah, I guess we just have to play it super slow and boring. Too close to him, I have to back off. That's six, right? Oh no! I miscounted. Okay. Have a, I have a direction dodge now. Wait, I miscounted again. Yeah. Side by side dodging, I guess, is the way to go. Damn. That attack just a one shot? That's so much damage, yo. I've never seen that attack before. I don't even know what I was supposed to do there. I, I couldn't get a good look around. I guess find out which one's the real one? Is it the one of the orbs above the head? Can't tell. Not sure. Hmm. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Uh, excuse me? Could have exploded by then. it right. Excuse me? Oh, 
are those the health, the health checkpoints? Oh. Alright, I guess I have to find the real one. That's not real. Okay, I still don't get that one. What what's the what's the tr I can't I can't tell off the bat. All right, we'll just continue. I guess we'll figure it out. I can't I can't even, there's so little time. I can't tell what's the tell for the for the correct one. And even if we can tell it, how do we get that fast enough to stun it? It seems like a tall order. supposed to iframe trade it? Okay. Oh, this is the... Okay, that's the timing. I could not tell. I'm mostly just gimmick my way past that. So many particle effects. I don't know how to tell them. The music is kind of going ham. It is kind of going ham, though, isn't it? The hell is going on in the music? going on at the music at the end there. It sounded like it was glitching.
Thou hast done well to seek out all Pokemon. Unflagging devotion to a goal shalt see it true. So hast thou proven by thine actions. Much as that ancient hero once did, he and the Pokemon that walked beside him. To see such truths proven anew, beyond the bounds of time and space, bring of joy to me. I am glad that I chose thee to call to this world. As thou walkest onward upon thine own path, upon thee and upon this creation where thou now dwellest, I bestow my blessing, and I bestow upon thee a part of myself. I will walk this world together with thee, show me how it appeareth in thine eyes. We got the legend plate, the horribly overpowered thing. That cannot possibly exist in the mainline games, right? Right? <laughs> Imagine an unrestricted version of that in the next VGC. <laughs> okay, we did it! We beat Arceus, and I guess that's official confirmation that, like, any catchable Arceus is, uh, it's just like an aspect of it, it's not real. Or it's like it's just a fragment of it. Like the real Arceus is something that's more eldritch and unknowable. Have a rematch? No. Alright, so we're done then. Main quest is complete. Alright, very cool, very cool. So do I get to go home now though? Chad, when do we go home? Come on Arceus, I did everything you asked me to. Can I go home yet? Yeah yeah, I know you don't. I'm just making the I'm just making the obligatory joke. What the hell, Arceus? Alright, let's do some salting. Alright, we've got post game stuff now, right? Gotta bring this fella with us now, though, and also this fella because we need to work on the Ardex entry. We already have uh, Apex Raichu. Oh, we actually don't. That's our first Apex Raichu. Alright, cool. Okay. Gotta work on this guy's entry. This guy's entry. And I'll put Gudra in the back, uh, just for extra coverage. It is indeed everything. Oh, we just receive a part of Arceus and that's it, huh? Okay, what do we need to do? Extra sensory, spring tight, storm, strong, and agile. Alright, we can do that. Just, hey professor, are you not freaked out about this? We'll go back to the village. I think we've got, uh, I think we've got post game stuff to do now. Or at least a bit of it. Alright, stuff to me, mine. So what should I tell you exactly what I witnessed first? Much slack suddenly took off running into a rainstorm. I tried to stop him lest he get wet, but I then saw those mass outbreaks appearing all over. Perhaps it was the massive mass outbreak that Much Lex was so curious about. If that's the case, Much Lex might be able to help us investigate this phenomenon. I also work with you, so I'm concerned about Much Lex. We can begin our investigation as soon as we prepare. Are you ready to go? Yeah. 
Alright, so, massive mass outbreaks, whatever this is. I haven't actually seen any, I, I don't actually know how they work, so we're gonna find out now. Yeah. We haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, nor has much that's reacted to anything. Shall we just wait here for a while to see whether something happens? It's raining. It looks like it's going to get worse. Are you worried about the rainstorm much nights? We still don't know what's causing these mysterious massive mass outbreaks. Perhaps the fancy map skills can show us something. Ah yes, Arceus. What do you want? Ring ring. Aha. Uh -huh. Many mass outbreaks occur at once. They're marked by question marks. They disappear in time. Okay. Something like that. Look at three possible ones. Alright, got it. We started the closest ones, I guess, and uh, we're chucking Namorous at them for a bit to get uh, get some data in. Getting our users in. All right, it's gonna be a lot of this for a while, chat. Hope you hope you guys don't mind. That it? Oh, oh no, get back there. Ah, uh, so you just have to fight. They they fade. They do fade faster. Oh, they only load in when you visit the location, I assume. Uh, so the, the outbreaks only load in when you visit the location. They don't they're not all loaded at the same time, I think.
regular shellers. the last one. Not all the chatter was faded yet either, okay. I just I just left early. I just need to check it out, I guess, for the most part. <laughs> it runs away, it runs away. We don't really need to KO these guys, we just need to get the moves in. Uses of extra sensory.
should have done enough to get my research level to 10 for this fella. He's almost there. We need to get those power points uh, reset though. Oh, we're done. Alright. Okay, we checked out the massive mass outbreaks. I have a I have a better understanding of how they work now. A little bit. Thank you for your investigation in the obsidian field lens. Oh, we're gonna have to repeat this in every area? Okay, fine. It's always pouring rain. The Pokemon gather when there's especially heavy rain. I wonder whether Munchlax is reacting to the rainstorm or the massive mass outbreak itself. We're just to investigate further about how best to do so. That frown doesn't suit you at all. Oh, Mistress Calaba, well, you see. Mass outbreaks that occur during rainstorm, never heard of such a thing. But of course, life is full of surprises. After all, it's not often that Pokemon from beyond our world appear in the Temple of Sinnoh either. Perhaps these Pokemon are reacting to the arrival of Mighty Falcon. Why don't we head back to Triple Life Village? A resident shop may be a good place to visit. The ghost place is often popular after all. And that's where people gather. Information abounds. Of course, the hairdressers. If anyone's there seeing one of these massive mass outbreaks, might be willing to share the details with us. Alright. Okay, uh, I'll check I'll check out the trailer after this. I mean I knew uh, I assumed that season I mean, we all knew season two was gonna be coming eventually because of the uh, you know, because of the catalog, so the catalog has a refresh in December. But I'll check out. I'll check out the trailer later. After after we're done quickly, I guess. There we go. Enamorous uh, research ten. We're done. I don't know if they'll make us do it in every region, but if they do, I guess we'll just do a quick drop in every one. Oh, Akari! Mistress Kalaba's waiting for you! Come on in! I heard all about those massive mass outbreaks. I bet there's some sort of Pokemon festival. It's like what I heard from a customer who came here from Johto. Apparently on nights of a full moon, Clefairy get together and dance. It's basically a gathering of Pokemon that only happens when certain conditions are met. Sounds pretty similar to Massive Mass Outbreaks, don't you think? So Massive Mass Outbreaks could be a festival for Pokemon to enjoy the rainstorms. You might have a point. It seems to me you're still biting your tongue, Arezu. Have you heard anything else? Well, I did hear something weird from a Diamond Clan friend of mine. They said they saw a massive mass, mass outbreak of Alphas in the Crimson Marlins. But seriously, the Alphas have together in groups? My friend must have made a mistake, right? Alphas grouping together. If this is part of a massive mass outbreak, it sounds dangerous. Even the Lady of the Ridge would be no match for a mass outbreak of Alphas. It's natural to worry about the unknown. That's why Akari's investigating this for us, no? To put our concerns to rest. You're right, it seems the next step is to investigate the Crimson Marlins. Chad, are they actually gonna take us to every region? Are they gonna make us visit every every map? Hmm. Are we to hit the Crimson Marlins? Yeah, sure. 
That's gonna be a bit tedious if they make us visit every single one. Although, I guess if the idea is to visit all the name NPCs, then that does make sense. Maybe I gotta stop thinking of this as a tutorial for a new mechanic and more of a post game, you know, let's check up on everybody kind of quest. It seems a mass mass outbreak has sprung up here in the Crimson Marlins, too. Let's try to determine if the phenomenon occurs here as it does in the Obsidian Feudlands. Hey ho, little people, no need to fret, Melly has arrived. Piss off. What do you want? I heard rumors that you've been investigating massive mass outbreaks or some such. But I, Melly, have already solved the mystery. All that remains is to gather evidence. Really? Not bad, Melly. The reason these Pokemon have been mysteriously gathering in rainstorms is... Is? To give praise to the great Melly, naturally. Piss off. Don't look so sour, you two. I realize it's a difficult truth to accept right away, but the awe I inspire, as both Sun and Shadow to Adamant, is clearly apparent to Pokemon. And as thanks for your adorable efforts in proving my theory true, I'll give you this generous reward. Go on, take them. The Agua Berry is quite a rarity here in history, you know. As for why these Pokemon gather during rainstorms, well, they're surely to represent how I'm simply overflowing with wonderful qualities. And if that nugget of wisdom, I shall be off. I see he's in as insufferable as ever. You can plant Agua Fairies, by the way. He was very shy when we drawn as a child until one day when he announced he was going to work hard to help Adamant. I was happy to see him grow more optimistic, but I fear he may have taken that to extremes. But Agua Fairies, where could he have found them? Much like, did you just eat some of the Agua Fairies? Yeah, I got up five of them. <laughs> So I'm assuming you don't get them normally, so the only way to get more of them is to grow them. Oh, data has been reviewed. Hmm, now the map not shows not only outbreak locations but the Pokemon there as well. What does this mean? Oh, while they're going, you can give them to Munchlax and we'll get the actual Pokemon. The icons indicate you can get more berries from there. I think that's the idea. All right, we'll just drop by two of them and then we'll go we'll to the carnivine. The Pokemon will drop our graphs. Yeah, got it. Star next to it, there'll be higher chance of Alphas. Okay. All right. None of them have stars right now, so. I'm assuming the stars is later, like to tell us about the stars. It's good enough, right? Is it good enough? Oh no, it's not good enough. I actually have to like battle them or something. Alright, we'll do the Carnivine one first. Am I just moving past them? Um, I'm kind of wanting to just trigger them and move along. <laughs> they have to actually complete them. I left one of them hanging though. Because hmm. I didn't finish the chat out one. There was still some left when I, when I moved on. 
So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Well... We'll do the Carnivine one since these guys drop the, uh, drop the berries, it seems. Four of them at once! Ugh. Bro, this is gonna go so slow. I'm using Arceus on the next lot of these guys. Heck it, I'm using him now. This is way too frustrating. I think I think Gudra's dead anyway, so. Alright, Arceus, you're up. Judgment? Wait, no no type changing? Is the legend paint not up? This guy's dead ass had me locked down here because they all decided to come in at once. Ugh. What a pain. Please delete them. Nah, how are you still alive? I can stop swapping them around. I did need to grind the uh, electrode anyway, so. Turn around. I'm 
Well, at this rate, I wonder how many Carnivine have killed. 95. Uh. Sorry. At least that's that done. Uh, who do you want to go after? I guess right on, right on shouldn't be too hard to take out, right? Whoa, hey, hang on. Come on, I'm not not in the middle of this, Clover. You still only have the one Pokemon anyway. Hmm. Saving Electro for later. I can't believe she holds me out of the air. Because when did she have that level of power, you know? Alright, you done? Guess we're taking on all four at once again. Oh good lord, the, the recoil. I'm not equipped to take out this many of them. Fine, we're just throwing the amorous at him. It'll make our life easier.
one? I think so. Okay, one more. Let's get a let's get a quick top up again. And I guess we'll do we'll do bronzo. Bronzo shouldn't take too long. raining right now so 100% accurate thunder Part of it? Huh. Expecting I was expecting this runs off. Well that goes like this. Looks like we're done. Which camp did he want us to go to again? Hmm, Alright, we did the things. We beat up a bunch of Pokemon. Hope, hope you're happy. Here you finish your investigation in the Crimson Marlins. Well done, Akari. Irida is here to help us. What happens twice will happen thrice, or so they say. Past events outbreaks seem likely to occur in the Cobalt Coastlands and other areas as well, so I've been discussing the issue of Irida. Why don't we demonstrate to her what has been keeping us so busy? We can turn our investigation to the Cobalt Coastlands next. 
Yeah, we're about to visit every area too. Not as much, and the ones been keeping you busy is eating. Don't worry, you'll get your berries. But I still wonder, what lies behind Munch likes a strange reaction to eating aqua berries? How does he know which Pokemon are gathering with where during a mass mass outbreak? <laughs> he's got he's some kind of genius? Perhaps. Hopefully our investigations will shed some light on this mystery. Oh, let me offer you a hand. I've learned some things about mass mass outbreak myself. I know a new leader of the Pokemon could help us. Mysterious going on and Vasis may pick my interests after all. And on top of that, we're friends. I always come if you ask for help. Uh, since when? We've seen each other around before, but after talking more at a Harmony Festival, we found we agreed on a lot of things. Such as how exactly we think Adamant is doing as a leader. And we decided we'd help each other out despite being from different clans. Anyway, that's how I got involved with the investigation into Coastlands. And I heard from Iskan and Lena that they both seen something that was like a mass outbreak, but stranger. What are your thoughts on these mass mass outbreaks, Amida? Well, I wonder what what about them causes Pokemon to flock together this way. Perhaps there's been some shift in space because of Mighty Palkia's appearance. I'd certainly be glad to help more Pokemon around, it would help this way flourish. But it's too early to conclude it's all for the best. Hordes of strong Pokemon could be dangerous. I'll be sure to warn Lena to be careful too. Yeah, it's nice we're getting a little revisit on everybody's uh, characters and stuff, right? I'll head to Jubilai Village, want to wrap up a few things here. We can meet at the front gates when it's time to set on our next investigation. Alright, in that case, I think we're gonna visit Kojita first and turn that quest in, just in case it's triggering... Just in case it'll trigger anything else. Uh, chat. I don't think we can finish this tonight, right? This quest line. It seems like it's gonna go on for a little bit longer. It's like, yeah, it's like gonna go on for quite quite a little bit longer, it feels like. Since we're gonna take the time to revisit every other character's spot and everything. Because this was the main post-game quest they added in the update, right? I'm asking just to check, like, should we... Should we put this off for another stream? Aha, you caught Enamorous as well, and you know much about her. Enamorous arrives in history once winter has passed, hence the epithet Herald of Spring. Her company, when I have the pleasure, is of great help. She ferries me hither and yawn across history, but I'll leave her in your care for now, I suppose. In my care? Indeed. Even you can hardly expect to live for all time, surely, but she will be in your care for now. Here, this is the review glass. If you use it on Enamorous and her brethren, they will assume different forms. She's talking as if though she lives like super long compared to us. Hmm. You, Enamorous, and her brethren have something in common. You all tend to stir the pot of life. Do not mistake me, I mean this positively. If everything was straightforward, what meaning would there be in living as long as we do? Once there was a god of feud, and once there was a god of spring. Upon his ways, winds and view brought life to every growing thing. Was that how the universe went? I have passed on to you all there is to pass. Where history goes from here, I leave to you and your companions to see truth. Alright, lady. Mysterious old woman. Okay, yeah. So... 90, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103. I'm assuming those are the post-game stuff, right? Uh, chat. So if I'm counting this right... Tell, tell me if I'm off. That's five more side quests that are that are uh, that were added in the post game stuff, right? And then there's that thing where you can challenge trainers. Like there's the the battle challenges, right? I think that's what we have. That's what's left, right? For the sunbreak update. Sunbreak. Was it sunbreak? <laughs> Sunrise. I I forgot what the. 
the post, like the thing they added post game was, whatever it was. So one more stream, one more stream, right? I don't think we're finishing this tonight, so... I think one more stream to finish all the post-game stuff. It seems like what it is. I guess I'll get some Pokemon ready for battling and stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll stop here for today. Come back another time and we will... Properly go for the remaining the remaining side quests. Okay.